Welcome to Del Bianco Prosthetics and Orthotics video education series. This video will focus on suction prosthetic suspension for transtibial amputees. In order to understand what suction prosthetic suspension is, it can be helpful to think about a suction cup that you would place on glass. As air is depressed out of the suction cup, it creates an area of lower pressure beneath the suction cup than the surrounding atmospheric pressure. This pressure difference is what holds the cup in place until air re-enters the system. A suction suspension prosthesis utilizes the same laws of physics and thereby can effectively hold your limb inside your socket. A basic knowledge of the elements within a suction suspension transtibial prosthesis will be helpful. A gel liner is worn on your limb similar to a pin locking system except that the liner used does not have any threaded receiver on the end of the liner. It is completely soft and flexible. Traditional suction suspension systems utilize a gel suspension sleeve that is fixed to the outside of the rigid socket. This sleeve forms an airtight seal on your thigh by adhering to the gel liner worn on your limb or to your skin. The suspension sleeve prevents any air from entering the prosthetic socket and is a critical component of suction systems. The next most critical component of the suction system is a one-way valve that is installed and fabricated near the bottom of the socket. This valve lets air out of the system as you push your leg into the socket, but does not allow air to re-enter the system. As the patient walks, air is removed from the system and su suction is maintained within the socket. To don your transtibial suction prosthesis, put on your gel liner by inverting the liner completely and roll the liner onto your limb. Make sure no air pockets or spaces are left between the liner and your skin. Liners which have fabric must have the top of the liner reflected so that the gel is facing out as demonstrated here. Fabric will prevent an airtight seal from occurring. Some liners do not have fabric and this step can be skipped. In addition, some patients may prefer to seal to the skin. In these cases, the liner is cut short so that the gel suspension sleeve can contact the skin. We must remember that in all cases, an airtight seal must be maintained. Once you have properly donned your liner, you can push your limb into your socket and roll up the suspension sleeve. Some amputees may find that standing to roll up the suspension sleeve can be helpful. While not necessary, standing can prevent wrinkles from occurring in the suspension sleeve, which may be uncomfortable or prevent knee flexion. Once you have pushed your limb into the bottom of the socket and rolled up your suspension sleeve, you are ready to use your prosthesis. As you walk, air will be removed from the system and you will be able to feel the increased sensation of security as a pressure difference is created between the inside of your prosthetic and the atmosphere. To remove the socket, you simply roll down the suspension sleeve and allow air to re-enter the system and then push the socket off your body. While using a prosthesis, your limb can change sizes throughout the day. Over time, the limb also tends to decrease in size as muscle and tissue mass decrease. Prosthetic socks are used to maintain a proper fit in your prosthetic and account for the changes in limb size that occur. Socks come in 1, 3, and 5 ply. The term ply represents how thick the sock is and how much space it will take up. These socks can be used singly or they can be combined to help you find a comfortable fit. When using prosthetic socks with a suction system, it is critical that the sock not extend to the gel area of the liner used to create a seal as demonstrated here. If you choose to seal to the skin, the sock must stay low enough that the gel suspension sleeve can adhere to the skin. In a suction system, it is best to have a socket that does not require more than 5 to 8 ply of socks for a proper fit. The more socks you have, the more air will have to be removed from the system and much beyond 8 ply of socks can be difficult with suction systems. It may be time for a new socket if you find yourself needing more than 8 ply in a suction system. How do you know how many socks to use? Similar to the pin system, your prosthetic should be comfortably snug. You can add or remove socks to find this comfortable zone. The proper amount of sock ply is critical to maintain a comfortable fit. If the prosthetic is too loose or too tight, pain and discomfort can occur. Socks are the way you dial in the perfect fit. Be careful not to add so many socks that you are lifted off the bottom of the socket. This can be checked, if desired, using a clay ball as demonstrated here. The clay is flattened when full contact occurs and this is a sign you are all the way in the socket. With more time and experience in a prosthetic system, you will be able to tell when you are all the way in the socket without using clay to assist you in determining if the fit is correct. 
If you use clay, make sure not to place the clay over or near the hole and or valve in the bottom of your socket, or it may plug the hole in the socket air is meant to escape through. We have discussed the importance of an airtight system so that suction can be maintained. The easiest way for you to check to ensure the system is working properly is to don your socket and walk around for a few minutes. When you sit down, you will notice that the suspension sleeve is snugly molded around your knee and socket. This is a sign air has been pulled from the system and suction is occurring. If you allow air into the system by breaking the suspension sleeve seal, you will immediately feel and see the sleeve relax and leave the socket and liner surfaces as demonstrated here. If this occurs, you can be comfortable your system is working and is airtight. If this does not occur, it means you likely have a hole in the suspension sleeve or the one-way valve is not working properly. The socket will not fall off your body since the sleeve will hold the prosthetic in place, but you will not have the suction in the system and this will result in less control of the prosthetic and more motion inside the socket, which can be painful. Your prosthetic clinician will need to fix these issues. When donning your prosthesis, it is important that the suspension sleeve is rolled down below the prosthetic trim line behind your knee. This video demonstrates what happens when the liner is not rolled down far enough. As you put your prosthetic on, your limb will grab the suspension sleeve and pull it into the socket. This can be very uncomfortable and put a hole in the suspension sleeve if you squeeze into your prosthetic as shown here. In a suction system, it is important that the socket fits well without any air spaces between the liner and the socket wall. Your prosthetic clinician will work closely with you to attain a proper fit. Over time, if your limb changes and voids within the socket occur due to a decrease in limb volume or a change in limb shape, these voids can result in blisters as a result of suction acting on the gel liner. We also discussed that patients may choose to use the suspension sleeve to seal to the skin rather than the liner. This works for some patients and not for others. For example, a limb with a significant amount of hair on the thigh may prevent a seal. A limb with very soft or atrophied tissue on the thigh may also not seal. Some people who are able to obtain a seal on the skin end up with water blisters and a band pattern around the top of the liner as a result of suction pulling the skin up and over the ridge of the cut liner in an attempt to pull the air out of the system. It works for some and not for others. The safest, surest method is to seal to the gel of the liner worn on your limb as demonstrated in this video. Suction suspension is a fantastic form of prosthetic suspension for transtibial users. It is significantly limits pistoning within a prosthetic system. This results in less volume loss and a better fit throughout the day compared to pin locking systems. It is also possible over a period of years, a limb managed in a suction system would not display the excessive tissue distortion that is often seen in long-term pin sockets. These pictures illustrate the difference in limb tissue and shape resulting from long-term use of pin systems compared to suction systems, and is something to consider when choosing a system. While this tissue distortion has not been studied or proven to result from pin systems, it is clinically seen in many long-term pin socket prosthetic users. Pin sockets can make great first prosthetic systems, but for patients who plan to walk for significant periods of time each day, a su suction system is worth consideration. The challenges of suction suspension result from the gel suspension sleeve. This sleeve can get holes in it which prevents a suction seal from occurring. The sleeve can also have adverse effects on knee flexion. The sleeves are continually improving in durability and flexibility and using a prosthetist skilled in suction systems can minimize the decrease in knee motion and ensure the sleeve lasts as long as possible. It is worth noting that no prosthetic system is perfect and no single system works for everyone. With that said, for people who expect the long-term, active prosthetic users, suction is one of the best systems. Some manufacturers have created systems with seals on the liner that are intended to seal inside the socket. These are referred to seal-in systems and they do not require a suspension sleeve. These systems work best for medium to long, long limbs which are cylindrically shaped. In addition, however, if the valve becomes clogged or volume of the limb is lost and the seal loses contact with the socket, the prosthesis can unexpectedly become unattached from the body. For these reasons, and because the range of patients for which these systems work is not as large as traditional suspension sleeve suction, they are not discussed here. If one of these systems is right for you, your prosthetic clinician will educate you on the particulars of that system. New technology is continually becoming available and many iterations of suction systems exist. This video has covered the most common method for your education. 
Always follow your doctor's or process directions regarding any system you may have if they are different from those shared in this video. We hope this has been helpful and wish you well on your journey.